Okay, what's up, y'all? Y'all don't mind my Kirby twist I got on because I washed my hair early this morning and then I had to get in the garden and do some things. Time waits for no one. And once it's gone, you can't get it back. So I said, well, while my hair is drying, I can be uh doing some things. So if you see me looking off, I'm tending this fire. I got to watch this fire, y'all. I, I don't think it's going to get out of control, but got to watch the fire. It rained two days ago, so I don't believe nothing going to catch a fire. So. But still got to watch it. So anyhow, I wanted to come on here and kind of talk to y'all a little bit um about patience in the garden. So. I think one of the main things that people ultimately probably don't realize is that that's their downfall when they're gardening or when they're struggling gardening is patience. Um, and trust me, I'm not a person that has a lot of patience. So this is an area where my garden has forced me to grow and get better because um, I, I, I don't have a lot of patience still for quite a few things. And, um, but you know, you grow and you learn and you, you know, whatever, but yeah. So, um, patience is one of those things that, and what, what am I talking about? So, um, naturally, like for instance, when, if you've never grown anything from seed or you've never, maybe you bought some plants, but you've never grown strawberries or you've never grown and and it's usually especially from from seeds but even your starts like if you buy strawberries and you're wondering well when do the berries start when do the you know when does all this start um it takes patience in order to do that but you know to wait for that stuff because sometimes it can take longer than you think um also i want to mention that um one of the ways that will help you gain some more patience is if you learn to enjoy watching the process of things grow paying attention to the stages and different things like that like when you look at something or you come look at your garden look for changes because you'll see changes every day even if they are small incremental changes you will see changes learn to appreciate those small changes so instead of coming outside and saying okay i bought these strawberries yesterday the strawberries got flowers on them okay you come out the next day okay i still don't see no berries still flowers you get what i'm saying okay well when do the berries okay well the berries still ain't red yet they're green and the berries hard and then as soon as the berries get pink you done pick them off because you too you impatient no instead when you go out and look at your strawberries Let's say the flower is just opening. Oh, the flower is just opening. And let's say the next day it's all the way open. Oh, it's all the way open today. And then let's say the next stage is the petals fall off. Oh, the petals fell off. Oh, well, I can see where this is. This is how this is made. This is it's gonna be a little strawberry right here. Then the strawberry gets larger, gets green. Oh, it's green now. Oh, it's starting to form seeds on the outside. You know, just all of these different little, and that's just for strawberries. But the same goes for anything. Um, for instance, let's say you're letting a plant go to seed. Now, I'm going to be honest. That's one of the hardest things to be patient on. But please be patient with your seeds. Your seeds are going to take a while. They're going to take a good little while. But that's okay because the time that you let them develop those seeds, you'll have your own seeds that you did not have to pay for. So you got your harvest of whatever you grew, even if you didn't get a harvest to me, because there's some stuff up there that I didn't even get a harvest on. The stuff just went to seed. But I don't count that as a loss because I'll get seeds that are more acclimatized to my area. They're free. And I'll have way more seeds in the seed pack. And not only that, I'll probably be able to share seeds with people if they would like them. So, um... But when you look at your, just like when your stuff is going to seed, oh, my plants are getting taller now. Oh, look, they're stretching out even more. Oh, look, here come, ooh, it's some little buds, some little blooms coming. Oh, now the flowers are opening. Then you can enjoy that. Then you can enjoy the bees coming to the flowers or whatever pollinators, whether it's bees, gnats, flies, or any, whatever, you know, it's a lot of different things that pollinate. Oh, look, they're getting pollinated. 
Oh, now nah, it's making some kind of, because it's probably going to make a seed pod of some sort. Oh, it's making a seed pod. You get what I'm saying? So learn to enjoy the process, and that'll help you with your patience. Um, also, keep your eye on the prize, especially when it comes to seeds. You don't have to do like I do and leave, you know, like when I left those two beds of uh, greens to go to seeds. I didn't even save the seeds. Um, the seeds turned into fertilizer shortly after. I really did that for the bees. But to help you with your patience, sit outside and watch the bees swallowing Let me tell you this. I know some of y'all, y'all scared of bees. And you say, oh, they sting. You say, yeah, they do sting. But um, generally, bees don't sting you unless you are a threat to the hive. The hive is not going to be out in your garden, I assure you. Those bees flew there to get food, and they will fly back to the hive. So, I mean, you know, sit out there and watch them. Every day, I, it was so peaceful to sit outside and just watch the bees, just watch and see just the sheer um, number of bees and all the different types of bees that were coming and different uh, gnats and little flies and things pollinating. And the uh, mosquito hawks, just in case y'all didn't know, they eat nectar. So they too pollinate. So they are attracted to flowers. Um, if you don't know what a mosquito hawk is, y'all know them things. They look like real big mosquitoes and they're real stupid. They fly in the stuff and, you know, they, you know, their legs is long and stuff. They don't eat mosquitoes. That's a myth. Um, they, they eat nectar and they say sometimes they don't eat at all. Really, their whole purpose is to mate and continue their lineage. Like sometimes they won't eat at all because sometimes when they stop to eat, birds will eat them. Like if they land on a flower and stay there too long, a bird or something will get them. But anyway enough useless trivia um but yeah just sit and watch those things watch those things happen and unfold and that way you learn you actually learn the plan because i'm gonna be honest it's too many people out here gardening and some of these people say they've been gardening for years and years and years and it's the simplest stuff and they don't have no clue and i'm just wondering so when do you when you go in your garden what do you be looking at what do you, i'm trying really trying to understand Cause I'm I'm baffled sometimes when people have no clue what's happening at all. Now I'm not expecting you to understand everything, cause I don't understand everything. But certain stuff, you know, you don't watch that 80 times, and you still don't really know what's going on. So sometimes watch the complete process, and then also sometimes be interested in the life cycle of a plant, all the way from a seed, all the way back to a seed. And this is what I mean. So those collars in the front, I planted them as a seed. They grew as plants. They then decided to go to seed. So you see what I'm saying? So it's a whole life cycle. They, they germinate. They get their true leaves. They start to get bigger and bigger. Then you're able to harvest them a number of times. Then they start to elongate and produce seed stalks and then flowers and then the seed pods. You get what I'm saying? So... Um, that's a process watching something go from seed all the way back around to seed. See, sometimes you all are just going 180 degrees. You're going from seed to harvest and rip it out. Sometimes let the whole life cycle happen. Life works in circles. That's why they call it the circle of life. Um, so, you know, uh, I'm trying to think with some other tips I can give you as far as patience. To be honest, if you keep busy and you have something to be doing and you're guarding a lot, that will help you as well. Can y'all see them ashes? Them ashes just steadily blowing over you. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. Because they landing all on me. But anyway, uh, so this wind and shifted. They have to shift my chair. Um, I'm going to be smoky. Ooh, I'm going to be smoking. I just wash my hair. Why am I? I'm at the move. Anyway, um, I'm moving about five or six minutes. We ain't one blowing this way. But anyhow, um, so just enjoy the process. Enjoy the different, you know, watching things and doing things. Like I said, a lot of times if you really just keep yourself busy, that'll help with your patience. But also if you become interested in the complete and total process. That'll help you with your patience as well. Um, let's see what else. Is there anything else on patience? Like I said, don't be surprised. You see, they take a long time now. Um, I prefer to let mine dry on the plant 
and then you know get them that that's the way i know that they're completely and totally mature same thing with some of your peppers and things if you're gonna save seeds from a pepper or a tomato try to let it get all the way mature if it's you know let it turn to its final color and then get your seeds the way your seeds are mature like i said it takes a little longer but uh it's worth the wait trust me because um there's nothing like not having to go anywhere to get your seeds you already have them um and then if you want to share you can share with people because i think we do need to start sharing more seeds and cultivating more things and everything so uh same thing with your um also this goes to do with patience as well um when the season first starts especially if you live in colder climates um try to try your best to be cognizant of warmer weather plants what do i mean by that okra roselle peppers um yams sweet potatoes there's a difference for those of y'all that didn't know i've done a video on that um those are warmer weather things and when it says warmer weather they prefer usually 70 degrees and above consistently in the daytime temperatures they really don't like it um when your nighttime temperatures are still you know in the 50s and dipping below um so if you're not seeing any germination yet or sprouts yet um don't be alarmed it just needs to get a little bit warmer in your area um same thing with some of your fruit trees figs and things of that nature sometimes they're a little slow to wake up they like it a little warmer um con the temperature consistency so once it gets a little warmer you won't have any problem those things will wake up and start sprouting and you know you'll notice that peppers start growing a, a lot better once it hits consistently about 80 degrees um in the daytime temps and at night when your night temps are you know 60 70 somewhere in there when they start hitting those um limb falling when it starts hitting those temperatures you'll notice your warmer weather stuff will start to um do a little better so also patience on that just wait for your temps to warm up some some things like it cold like potatoes and stuff like that some stuff will germinate brassicas they don't care if it's cold um corn don't really care if it's cold um just certain things but um because like here i noticed here lately things really waking up and just kind of my peppers and stuff starting to just really take off granted we're gonna get a cool it's gonna be kind of it was 40 degrees last night it's gonna be 45 tonight that's kind of cool um but my sweet potatoes have started coming out you know things like that my yams have already started all of my fruit trees have woken up with the exception of the guama cheese so yeah y'all just you know um so just you know wait it out and if your stuff hasn't woken up yet if you live in a colder climate be glad because you have a little bit more time to do things around here things is gonna start moving really really quick so you know always um be grateful for what you have you know i'm grateful that i have a long season i hate that my season is as hot as it is and you know for for the majority of the season but right now i try to enjoy what i'm getting now which is cool and stuff like that and um i try to get as much done as i can and for the rest of the stuff i try to be patient because i won't lie peppers test my patience ground cherries test my patience because it takes so long for them to really just come into their own but once they come into their own they start rolling they just they start doing well so um yeah y'all y'all just hang in there be patient um use that as you know use your garden as a stepping stone to improve yourself your life and um you know ultimately hopefully your happiness and your well-being and your, your sanity and all those type of things so um if you have any questions comments concerns put them in the comment section uh till next time see you guys later